Well, folks, Republicans are going to have their hands full if they do, in fact, win back the House of Representatives in the midterms. Because according to an analysis of not just statements they've made, but also claims they make in their brand new commitment to America, Republicans are planning to launch investigations into 70 different topics and individuals. Now, some of those topics and individuals, of course, are a little overlapping. So it's not going to be 70 different investigations, but 70 topics and targets. Here are just a few on the list of things Republicans will be investigating and getting to the bottom of. Whew, here you go. The Biden campaign. B hold up. I'm sorry. I hate to have to stop after just the first one, but what it, what it, what does that even mean? The Biden campaign? Are, are they saying they're going to reinvestigate the 2020 election? Oh boy, we're off to a bad start here, aren't we folks? <laughs> anyway, the Biden campaign, big tech, bad actors at the FBI, legacy media, Merrick Garland, Anthony Fauci, companies that complied with information requests for the January 6th committee, the US Chamber of Commerce, I'm good with that one, Hunter Biden, the origin of the coronavirus, COVID school closures, treatment of school closure protesters, Afghanistan exit, January 6th committee spending, weapon sales to Ukraine, border security, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, Education Secretary Miguel Cardona, politicization of the DOJ, inflation, and energy. Now, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to talk about a couple of these just kind of in depth. First of all, Hunter Biden, as we know, reports say DOJ is probably gonna charge him with tax crimes and illegally possessing a gun. I don't care. I'm not saying I don't care that he did those things. I'm saying I don't care if he gets indicted, arrested, and spends years in prison. That doesn't bother me at all. Anthony Fauci. Y'all Republicans have already held Fauci in front of you multiple different times, and you got nothing. Fauci himself says, bring it on. I don't care. <laughs> the spending of the January 6th committee. So you're going to spend money to investigate how another investigation spent money. And then you also want to investigate any of the companies that actually complied with the legal requests for information. Um, I, I don't think that's going to go the way you think it's going to go, but, but okay. Um, school closures that, that, that wasn't even a federal, that wasn't a federal thing. That was in some areas, county by county. Like if, if you really want to investigate that, that would literally take the whole house doing nonstop investigations to get into the bottom of every single school district in the country. Y'all are nuts Republicans, but, uh, you know, I, I could go through each and every one of those, pick it apart, but I also have to say, bring it. I mean, look, the worst thing that could happen for Republicans or the worst thing that could happen for Democrats, if Republicans win the house and do all these investigations, the worst thing that could happen is that they actually uncover some criminal wrongdoing. And if that's what happens, like we can't be mad about that, right? Like, okay, good. You're, you're, you actually rooted out some corruption. I'm okay with that. Even if it's a Democrat, let's get corrupt people out of power. I don't think they're going to find anything, but if they do whatever, like good, we want that. But the main reason I wholeheartedly support each and every one of these investigations, believe it or not, is because Republicans have already admitted what's going to happen to their party. If they spend the next two years doing nothing but investigations instead of uh, legislation. They admit that they're going to get creamed in 2024, not just in the house races, but also in the presidential race. So it may be worthwhile if Democrats lose this battle, but ultimately win the war, let these Republicans tire themselves out doing investigations for two years, proving to the public that they have no real ambition to legislate, but that their entire agenda is nothing but revenge because as the Republicans themselves have admitted that's going to cost them dearly in 2024. So let them do it. They'll pay the price soon enough. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, 
click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh. not be so grumpy.